Hello HD Piano, this is Joe. Today we are learning a new one, Satellite of Love by Lou Reed. These are the verses. Two, three, four. That's verse one. Now verse two and verse three are very similar but subtle differences, so I'll just play them both. Here we go. That's verse two. And here's the final one. Verse three, three, four. There you go, very similar, definitely not deserving of their own videos, but needing to be shown. Today we are playing in the key of F major, so B flats to watch out for. This is C major, C major, this is middle C by the way. Quick question for you, this track was released rather cynically. What was the reason? I'll give you a clue, they wanted more of something, and don't just say money. It also coincided with the launch of something. That's a big clue. Anyway, so we start off with the key chord as per first inversion F, F down here. One and a two. I'm counting in sixteenths. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. And we just take that shape and spread it over a series of broken notes. Two, three, four, and then we move to G. Two, and three, and four. So this is very triadic, this piece of music. One, two, and three, and four. Again, two, and three, and four. So that's all just G major root position. Next bar, G minor root position. One, two, and three, four, but we've got a seventh in there. We start off with, with root position G minor, but then we end one, two, and three with seventh on the third note. Two and three, and then this is the bar we all remember. Which is lovely. I love that. You can ascendo up with your right hand, all landing on beat one. One, one, one. Okay. Sus four C, five, root four root as well down here and you go one and two and three and four and like that one and two and three and four and one and two and three just like that last time let's move on then this So that's just a large four note root position, F, F major arpeggio. One and two and three and four and that finger three on the first C is important. That one. Okay, remember that and you'll be fine. Then we go to G again, two and three, four. A bit simpler this time, just block chords and three, four with a slightly off beat rhythm in the bass. One, two and three, then to G minor. One and two and three and four. And this time, one, two and three and four. From two and onwards, a G minor seven root position arpeggio of sorts. One, two, and three, and four, like that. One, two, and three, and four, and just in the bass. Two, three, four Gs playing a two feel, i.e. two of them in the bar. And then this again. Apart from with a slightly different 
ending and four one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and that's it for that verse this next verse i'm only really going to concentrate on the bars that are different which is about 50 percent of them so we start off the same one two and three and four one two and three and four and so straight away different in g this time we play the top half of our g major root position chord first of all we go one two and three and four and just like that one two and three and four and again one two and three and four and left hand's the same <clears throat> pardon me right hand's not Moving on this time, G minor is slightly different as well because we play the minor third on G and three and four. It's actually more similar to the second time that we heard that in the previous verse, but we just do a third rather than a whole three note chord, just like that. And we go all the way up to the seventh in that four note arpeggio, just like that. And then we do this again. I could play that all day. And this again. And then here. Oh, sorry, actually, that's there. So. G third. G root. So that's new. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two. Next bar is new as well. G minor. One, two, and three, and four. All it's different. Instead of going out to the seven, we now just go out to the fifth. One, two, and three, and four. Just like that. They're very similar, but not quite. One, two, three, four. Last time. Two, three, four, and then one, and two and three and four and we've got a chromatic leading note this time that takes us into the next section which is in d minor one and two and three and chromatic there one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and that's the pre-chorus right final verse 50% different again. So we start off with the same one. One. Oh, it's actually, this has got one note different. One, two, and three, and four, and one. So there, the D comes in, and that's that forward motion business where the harmony of the following bar is coming in a bit early. It's knocking on the door and inviting itself in early, causing a slight bit of tension. There, like that. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Again, one, two, and three, and four, and one. Last time, two, three, four, one. This is different, two. Dead simple though, one, two, and three, and four, and again, two, and three, and four, and more playing around the root position of G, starting with the top third. And then G minor, two, this is the same. And then our favorite bar of the whole piece. Now that's new, because last time we were doing this long eighth note arpeggio, now we break it up a little bit. Just do first inversion shape in the right hand. One and two, three and four, one and two. Three and four and then one, two and three and four. Again, slightly different. Two, three, more playing around with the root position of G. Two, three, four, last time. Two, and G minor slightly differently as well. Two and three, four, and all that's happened there is the rhythm. Two, and slightly stretch with that quarter note on one, two, beat three like that one two three and this is how we finish the 
last verse like that. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. And that's not the end of the song, by the way. We've still got every other section to come, actually. And all of these sections, we've got a pre-chorus, we've got a chorus, and we've actually got an ending as well, but the pre-chorus, chorus, they're all so similar, but they're going to have videos just like this one. So, <laughs> prepare yourself. Anyway, here we go. This is it. Uninterrupted. One, two, three, four. verse one so now to verse two here we are three four and this is verse three There we have it, everyone. If you like what you see, head on over to the website, hdpiano.com, to learn the other sections and many more like it. Just recently did um, Perfect Day by Lou Reed, which is amazing. So yeah, get on that. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. This has been Joe, HD Piano. See you on the next video. Bye for now.